Hello and welcome to the Wrestling Way in I'm Chris Amire alongside with Campbell Head Wrestling Coach Kerry Colat. And Coach, because of schedule changes, you guys had a daunting task. Three conference matches in six days. You came out of it two and one. Yes, yeah, yeah. We, uh, we had to reschedule App State because of the snowstorm we had. Um, so we went with uh, Gardner-Webb and then we rolled right into App State and then finished off with Davidson in the last six days. And, and obviously App State didn't go the way we, we hoped it would go. It was, um, you know, three-point duels all the way down through and, and um, they came out six and five is, is basically how it worked out. Um, and then we rolled into Davidson, where we um, we had a shutout. We had had never shut Davidson out, and in, in, uh, you know before. And so, you know, the guys rallied back. You know, well, we had a lot of bonus point wins in there. I think we had five falls, and, and the most um, we've had since my career here coaching at Campbell, and, and looked pretty sharp, and and um, you know scored points and put points on the board. Coach, uh, when you go back to that uh, App State match, what did you tell your team after that? Well, it, it was tight. I, I, I thought both teams wrestled well. Um, there was some things out of our control on both sides. Um, it was a fair duel in, in, that, in that aspect. And, and um, you know, we just came up short again with, with not all the guys firing at the same time, you know. And, and uh, we came down to 149. We felt good about Zach Barnes, the true freshman, going in there. And, and he, lost a, he lost a 4-4 regulation duel uh, about. And then with the riding time, he wound up losing 5-4. I mean, he, he wrestled. He wrestled well, and, and um, I thought all the guys did. You know, John Ryan looked awesome, you know, in his, his match. He, he did a lot of good things that really pumped up the bench and, and really gave Barnes some momentum going into his match the way he looked. And, you know, Jerry Hino did what he was supposed to do. And, and um, uh, you know, Morgan at 174 did a great job, uh, uh, you know, with their guy who's, who's ranked. And, and um, that was a tight one, too, and, and down to the wire. I mean, so... It, it was a, it was a good duel. It was good for the fans. Um, we didn't come out on the winning end of it, but you know it was a great duel all around. I think on both programs' part. With what you went through last week, it must seem like you've got a month of rest. It's not that much, but you have another SoCon uh, match coming up with the Citadel. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, we, we wrestled uh, Davidson on Friday, and, and now we don't compete again until Saturday. So it's really good for our guys. We were able to give them a long weekend um, to, to recover two days in a row. And now, you know, we're training starting on Monday, and now we're working through, and we'll wrestle on Saturday against the Citadel at home so we don't have to travel in the vans or anything of that nature. And and so it's, it's really good for our guys. And, and we schedule it that way at this part in the season for that recovery period. And that match will be back in Carter Gym here on the Campbell campus. And as usual, with our key matchup, here's our All-American. Hi, I'm Nathan Kreiser, and this is Kreiser's Key Matchups. This week, we got two key matchups against the Citadel. First one is going to be at 149 with Ty Bacaizo for the Citadel and Zach Barnes for the Camels. Bacaizo is a strong wrestler. He's very hard to score on, and he's good in scrambles. Barnes is going to look to get his offense going and wear Bacaizo out a little bit and open him up so he can start getting to his attacks more and start converting on his takedowns. 197 is Soya Root for the Citadel and Chris Kober for the Camels. Root's a long, extended wrestler, and he's good from space, and he likes to throw legs on top, while Chris Kober is a little shorter and more stocky wrestler, so it's a real clash of styles. Cobra's got to get inside and get to his ties and control and get out fast on bottom before Root has a chance to throw the legs in. These are two of their best wrestlers, and we're looking to get victories against their best guys and keep our momentum going. You'll be able to see that match with the Citadel coming up this Saturday at 2 back in Carter Gym right here on the Campbell University campus. Admission is free to all. If you can't make it, Nate and our Bill Priestley will have complete coverage for you live for free on the Big South Network. Links at GoCamels.com. I'm Chris St. Meyer saying we'll see you next week on the Weekly Weigh-In.